Good morning. Today we shall continue tutorials about the um, Dirac delta distribution as a data in a differential uh, equation. Let us consider the following boundary value problem. Find the solution capital G of x xi of the equation minus second derivative of the function g with respect to x equals Dirac delta distribution shifted Dirac delta distribution at the point xi with the boundary conditions at zero uh, x equals zero equals zero for all for, for given xi and at the end of the interval zero l g of l xi equals zero so here uh, is a delta shifted delta distribution so we have the the solution is called green's function of the operator l is minus the second derivative on the interval zero l so we can uh, uh, easily solve this equation uh, to find Green's uh, function of the very uh, operator capital L. Let us integrate both sides of the equation in the, in, in the interval xi minus epsilon xi plus epsilon. So we have the equation, this very equation. So the integral in the limits xi minus epsilon psi plus epsilon of the derivative clearly it is minus this very minus uh, the first derivative at the upper limit uh, minus minus which is plus uh, the uh, first derivative in the lower limit and uh, that is uh, equal uh, integral of the right hand side delta x minus xi so we have because we know that the delta uh, Dirac delta with the focus x uh, xi uh, has the integ inter uh, integral in the limits uh, xi minus epsilon plus, uh, xi plus epsilon uh, including the point uh, xi so this uh, is one we have established that uh, uh, before so therefore we therefore we can write from here that limit of 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 this we take my uh, minus of it we shall put minus one here so uh, that, that that will be limit of this minus limit of that evidently equals minus one because we change the sign of both sides. Good. So in the limit we shall have the derivative. Right hand side derivative and left hand side derivative. So the, uh, the function uh, uh, is, uh, has a first derivative discontinuous because left hand side and right hand side limits are not the same and there is a uh, difference between them. So now let us integrate the equation with the corresponding uh, conditions. Uh, this uh, this equation. So we have uh, first we integrate the equation equals zero uh, g of x uh, f zero xi equals zero. That is the condition at the beginning, first boundary condition, and the second boundary condition at the end of the interval is same. So we can integrate that. Uh, yeah, um, uh, beyond that uh, uh, point, uh, discontinuity. So now we have clearly the solution of this R of the following form. Uh, first solution is uh, linear function C0x which evidently is, is the solution and at zero is zero and the second uh, is cl uh, cl uh, constant cl l minus x over l which is again the solution of this with the very boundary condition for this constant c uh, zero cl 
Then, in order to obtain the solution, the Green's function, or as a function of two arguments, uh, fixed uh, focus point xi and x, that function is uh, continuous in the square um, uh, x from 0 to l, xi of 0 to l, and its derivative is discontinuous, satisfying at x uh, equals xi, uh, the, uh, the equations. So we can find that uh, constant C, uh, C0, Cl, solving that, that equations, which are of that, uh, that, that form. So this is the con uh, condition that uh, we wish to be uh, the solution uh, continuous at Xi. This is the condition the condition is one uh, to uh, to be the first derivative discontinuous with this uh, jump uh, jumping point at, at xi. So if we integrate, so for for then then in the explicit form uh, we shall have uh, first equation will be this. Let us uh, come back to the, that uh, equation. Uh, we shall have uh, u of uh, u l of xi, which is uh, this one. Then it will be it will be that that times c l and x equals xi. Then it will be xi as zero, which is zero, and that is continuity condition. That the function should be the solution. This condition guarantee that uh, solution is continuous. This condition again, the same fact. Uh, we have uh, this con that the first derivative is discontinuous. That means we have here this condition d uh, d u l with respect to x, where is the u l is here. Then we shall have uh, uh, this with respect to uh, x will be minus one over l. So we have here, but we change this the sign to have minus. So the, that is the condition. And uh, now we can solve the system of two linear equations to get uh, to find that uh, C L is xi and uh, C zero is that. So the Green's function is uh, is the capital G of x xi, which is for x less than xi is that. Yeah, is uh, for x less than xi is uh, at zero. Of course, is zero. For x greater than xi is that. Okay, that is clear. Now the boundary value problem. If you have uh, such boundary value problem with homogeneous boundary conditions, we can apply that green function as a standard universal function for the operator to get the solution of any boundary value problem uh, related with that uh, second derivative operator. So applying the Green's function, we can find the solution in the form. In this form, indeed, multiplying both sides of the equation, this very equation, uh, by this function and, the, and by integration, we, we get the following, that this uh, integral from 0 to L equals, we can take derivative f round. So we have uh, here, because uh, integration with respect to Xi, uh, we have here, and then this is right hand side, which is by the form, fundamental formula, we, we use that for many times, it is the value of the function at the point, shift point Xi. So we have this. Now we can observe that this in the uh, curl braces is u. If you take this u, then we have the second derivative of u is this. This, this is the u we have here. If we uh, 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 denote this by u, we shall have the solution of this very boundary value problem expressed by the Green's function and the uh, data function f in the right hand side. Good. So 
we have the solution. And this solution, of course, satisfies the homogeneous boundary conditions. Evidently, at zero is zero because upper limit is again zero. And at L, we have this, which is again zero because function G is zero. That and that is zero. So we have solution. If we apply that, uh, that we can see easy illustration of this. If we take very trivial case when f of x is uh, 1, then we have by the formula that this is uh, uh, integral of Green's function, which we have. Yeah, if we integrate, then we can uh, get that is easy elementary integration. We get the solution minus x over 2 plus x over x squared over 2 plus x. Yeah. This is the solution of that very boundary value problem. Clearly, this solution satisfies the conditions. At 0 is 0, at L is again, at 1 is again 0, because L is 1. So, and that satisfies, of course, this uh, equation. If we differentiate easily, we get that solution. Okay, we can uh, propose some homework, some uh, questions. Uh, to solve uh, other, uh, uh, to find a Green's function for other operator minus d square, uh, uh, the x square minus 4 uh, g, that, that one, or applying this, that one, if we find Green's function for this equation, then we can uh, use that Green's function to such this equation. Do it for the insight. Thank you.